Orchestral Tools is proud to present MODIS, a unique collection of scoring tools created in collaboration with acclaimed composer Jeff Russo for him to use it on the music of Star Trek Discovery and Star Trek Picard. MODIS provides instruments and sounds for specific musical tasks. The first one of those MODI is tension. Using this tool, it's really quick to create suspense and tension when you're scoring to picture. The tension performer articulations all start with a single note on the lowest dynamic layer, assuming you press only one key and also have your mod wheel all the way down. With just that one note as foundation, you can create tension. Holding the note, start raising the mod wheel. You can hear more and more tones coming in as the mod wheel crossfades through all the dynamic layers. Every one of those layers is recorded individually. Modus gives you four types of tension builder. The one you're hearing builds the overtone series, adding a new overtone with every new dynamic layer. By having the musicians actually perform those layered chords, you get the most natural and musical blend of sound and intensity. Recording with quite big sections at the Teldex scoring stage also gave us the opportunity to make use of the width and depth of the room. Every new note that is added to the sound by raising the mod wheel seems to come from a different direction and position in the room, because we gave those notes to selected players of the section. Especially with the strings, you can hear how the individual desks enter with their pitch. We've recorded four different types of tensions for all the instrument sections and choirs. You already heard the first one with the overtone series. The second one basically stays very quiet throughout, but adds another fifth with every new layer, so you get beautiful chords of stacked fifths. It also works nicely with more than one note at a time, and especially with those fifths. Try moving the mod wheel back and forth in smaller and larger intervals to create moving and evolving textures. By stacking some sections and performing each one individually, you can further intensify your textures. You can even use the playing range selector on the performance page of the sign player to create more or less random starting pitches. The tensions in MODIS are ideal tools for creating evolving textures of suspense and rising excitement. They can be approached in a very harmonic way or more aleatoric and atonal. The orchestral sections do a great job here, but the choirs and percussion sections can add even more unique colors, either on their own or layered with the orchestra.
Making transitions is an important task in underscoring. The transitions in Modus are designed to make it easy for you to take your music from one place to another, like a change of scene or mood, or musically speaking, a change of harmony, chords, or color. And importantly, the transitions also help you do this quickly. All the transition patches use the same principal technique. They start on a certain articulation, for example, tremolo on the strings, swell to a climax, and then change to another articulation performed with a diminuendo. There are a couple of different types of transition. Some stay at the same pitch, others go up or down a semi or whole tone. These intervals can be switched with a variation slider. Orchestral tools recorded plenty of different versions of the transitions to give you the most realism and sonic character. Let's listen to a few examples. Together with Jeff Russo, we chose appropriate styles for the different orchestral sections here, but also did those transitions with our female and male choir. By combining different interval variants, you can get the voice leading you want, avoiding the parallel motion. You can even create complex harmonic transitions. The samples are always mapped on their starting pitch, by the way. The transitions in Modus are very effective at the tasks they are designed for, saving you a lot of time and effort. But we at Orchestral Tools also believe they can be used to great effect in other musical contexts. Because we recorded full performances, these transitions offer unique character and superior realism, and you'll find they work equally well when they're exposed as they do when mixed in with your symphonic textures. The continuums of modus connect to the continuums in orchestral tools, time macro, and time micro collections. Continuums means we've combined atmospheric and dynamic textural sustained sounds to create pads that shift and evolve. These sounds evoke a sense of space and atmosphere. They can help to establish a scene, but also create a sense of movement.
Those wide and atmospheric sustains are perfect for depicting space and time. We have the same orchestral sections at our disposal here as with the tensions and transitions. Recorded at the Teldec scoring stage, they give you great control over their sound with total control over multiple microphone positions. All the instruments follow the same standard setup that Orchestral Tools regularly uses for all collections recorded at Teldex. This means that Modus will blend effortlessly with the Berlin series, Metropolis Arc series, the Time collections, and any other collection recorded there. To get the unique sounds that Jeff Russo was looking for, however, we chose some quite unusual sections. You already heard the three alto and three bass flutes in our low flute ensemble, for example. <laughs> That was six clarinets and an ensemble of three bassoons and three contrabassoons. The brass sections of Modus are also quite big. You get ensembles of six trumpets, eight French horns, and a low brass group consisting of three bass trombones and three cymbassi. The melodic percussion of Modus features multiple ensembles. We have five marimbas, five vibraphones, and a keyboard section of two celestes and two carry-ons.
Atlas contains some very unique and exotic sounds, which orchestral tools designed together with Jeff Russo. Some of these instruments are typical of the scores Jeff has created for Star Trek Discovery and Star Trek Picard. Here, you get a wonderful soft melodic ensemble of three alto flutes together with the viola section of the string orchestra. and a contrabassoon playing together with the string basses, as well as a very tight staccato articulation played by the violas and grand piano. Jeff specifically requested a playable shakuhachi, so we invited a Japanese master player of the shakuhachi to Teldex and recorded two of his instruments. In the sustain articulation, you get three different variants of vibrato and style, which you can select with the variation slider. These variations will help you to create lively performances. The instrument can be quite soft and quiet, so we've provided a very close-up sound by default. But the more ambient microphone positions can provide very interesting colors of their own. We also recorded a very special male choir for this collection. Maybe you can recognize some of the unusual syllables. Yeah. 
And finally, we recorded a glockenspiel and a vibraphone together. This unique combination evokes a sound that you might well be quite familiar with. <laughs> 